Hi everybody, my name is Archana Kesavan. I'm a Senior Product Marketing Manager here at Thousand Eyes and I'm going to quickly run over the GitHub uh, attack that we saw on February 28th. Uh, it was one of the largest recorded uh, DDoS attack but was very quickly and effectively mitigated by uh, GitHub. What you see here is the Thousand Eyes UI monitoring the connectivity and availability of github.com. So the timeline here represents the HTTP availability of github.com. And as you notice here at 9.20 on uh, February 28th, we see availability dip down to about 74% from a few of our global monitoring agents, also known as cloud agents. We, in, we notice that uh, the error uh, that you see here is related to establishing a connection with github.com and typically can be an indication that there is something else going on within the underlying network. In order to understand that, we move over to the network view, which shows a spike in packet loss at the exact same time availability to GitHub dropped. In order to understand where exactly in the network this packet loss comes from, let's jump into path visualization. Path visualization shows you the topology of the network from the monitoring agents all the way to github.com. And if you notice here, we see a lot of red circles indicating that, needs, that these nodes were experiencing some packet loss. And um, hovering over to the node, you see that this particular node, which is the penultimate hub before connecting to github.com, is experiencing a 100% packet loss. So definitely the network is under stress here, a um, lot of traffic going through, and um, these nodes are unable to keep up, resulting in, in packet loss. So to understand what exactly went on, let's take a look at, um, you know, to understand into the BGP route visualization layer, which represents, it's a spatial representation of how different autonomous systems or BGP AS path is to the GitHub prefix that we are monitoring. So if you see here, all of these um, nodes here, especially the teal node here, is actually github.com, which is the origin prefix. And all the other nodes here are autonomous systems representing the BGP AS path from the route monitors to GitHub's prefix. In this particular instance, uh, we notice a lot of uh, red dotted lines and solid red lines. Uh, the way to read BGP route visualization within Thousand Eyes is the red dotted uh, lines are an indication that routes are being withdrawn and solid red lines are an indication that new routes are being established. So we're monitoring this from 27 uh, route monitors. So just to simplify this view, let's dig into just the North American monitors here and pull this apart just so that it's a, it's a cleaner visualization that you see here. And what we notice is that github.com is withdrawing BGP routes from multiple different um, ISPs that it was peered with initially before the attack and is establishing a new BGP peer with Prolexic technologies. Prolexic is a DDoS mitigation vendor. So as soon as GitHub noticed that they were being attacked, the BGP path was changed uh, to send all traffic via prolexic scrubbing centers in order to um, scrub the bad or, or the DDoS attack traffic. So this is an, uh, a very good example of a DDoS attack that was mitigated quickly because the availability to GitHub, uh, you know, that the dip in availability lasted for just about 10 minutes and GitHub was back to normal and functioning. Uh, this does not mean that uh, the attack stopped. It just means that the attack was very well mitigated by Prolexic. So this is an example of how you can monitor not just the services that you're providing to, the, to your customers, but also keep track of how uh, mitigation vendors, DDoS mitigation is performing in your network if you are attacked.